Every single fan in all 80,000 seats at this year's FIFA World Cup final will be individually monitored and face tracked. This is the first such time that AI technology has ever been used at a World Cup. But how does it work? What are the benefits? And why do we even need an AI at a sporting event in the first place? For nearly two months, over one million fans will visit the tiny desert country no bigger than the San Francisco Bay Area. That's a difficult thing to organize. Chaotic scenes from the 2022 Champions League final in France and the recent crowd crush tragedy in Seoul serve as reminders of how dangerous managing so many densely packed people can really be. The Arabian Peninsula is all too familiar with crowd crushes. In 2015, over 2,000 people were tragically killed at the Hajj in Saudi Arabia. And so, Qatar has come up with a solution. 22,000 security cameras, 200,000 integrated sensors, all controlled by 100 technicians across each of the eight World Cup stadiums. Qatar-based news organization Al Jazeera claims that every detail of the entire World Cup will be carefully monitored and controlled. Constructing seven new stadiums, a brand new airport, metro system, and around 100 new hotels on a peninsula where temperatures have reached as high as 50.4 degrees Celsius means that the sun itself will also pose immense challenges for the event. And so, Qatar claims that human temperatures will be made comfortable all using a management AI with an integrated air conditioning system. The sheer physical scale of such a task is really a testament to how advanced our AI capabilities are today. Crowded points of entry and surges of activity will be mapped and predicted by the AI team throughout the event. Somewhat morbidly, these techniques were first pioneered for managing livestock in slaughterhouses and market towns. From a vast central console, the AI technicians will herd the crowds, ensure safety of the water supply, and even operate security gates for crowd control. I'm sure many sports fans will have peace of mind knowing that Big Brother is watching them at the event. But for crowd control, I think I'd take the super intelligence of a border collie any day. Insurance agencies are using AI now to know when you're going to die. Japanese insurance giant Sampo Holdings called their prediction technology godlike. Using data from your loved one's heartbeat and vital signs, they can attempt to predict the onset of dementia. Japan's population is aging, and they predict that by 2060, there will be up to 11 million dementia patients. If they manage to delay the symptoms of dementia, we can offer them cheaper insurance. The health implications of being able to intercept dementia are quite astounding. In addition to this, several other corporations in the insurance field are also interested in this technology. As the planet has warmed and natural disasters become more frequent, climate change has forced insurance companies to pay out more to cover damages. And as a result, it seems like they will turn this AI omniscience towards predicting where the next catastrophes will strike. Will this lower insurance rates? Well, that remains to be seen. We're going to end this week with Mid-Journey version 4. Several of the images in this video were generated using Mid-Journey's newest iteration. Go back and see if you can find them, and if you guess right, I'll pin you down in the comments. This model takes a stride ahead of its competitors like Stable Diffusion, and has delivered some of the best results for generating human subjects. Importantly, Mid-Journey is accessible to anyone, with limited features for free and full-fledged tools available for a monthly subscription. I don't know of anything else on the market that is this powerful for such a low cost. The implications of such skilled art generation AIs are starting to be discussed, but really, what they've given you is a nearly instantaneous concept artist. One who can draw whatever you like, and their pay is just 30 bucks a month. That is pretty astounding competition for digital artists. This video is not sponsored by Midjourney, but if you haven't checked it out, you've gotta go check it out. It's well worth a look. I'll end this video with some of Midjourney's top creations this week. And for more This Week in AI, subscribe to our channel.